Welcome to Hamilton here in Reno, Nevada. Now, Hamilton has about 3,000 employees around the world. They've recently invested upwards of $75 million in technology. And on top of that, they started in the 1940s in California before moving to Nevada, before it was the cool thing to do. But I'm very excited to take you inside to talk Matsura today, where they have invested in 23 Matsuras and 19 of those coming within the last five years. Let's go inside and take a look. For those of you watching, if this you think this is another Matt Sura video, another beautiful blue machine, and it's going to be the same old, same old, you better put down what you're doing, pick up your tea, your coffee, pay attention, because I got Phil on camera, and this is one of those stories you do not want to miss. I promise you that, Phil. From 2018 to now, you have made incredible leaps and bounds, and you have been kind of the man behind these decision making, the operation, the ideas, the concepts yep. of how to utilize the Matsura machines. So let's just make a real simple first question. Why Matsura? So uh, the first problem we had was Hamilton makes a, a lot of different parts. They have a lot of orthogonal features, meaning uh, they're getting machined on multiple sides. So three plus two is absolute necessary, uh, necessity. And uh, we needed to be able to make a lot of different parts very quickly. And so for us, there really wasn't a, a single source company where we could go get a machine, get a large tool changer, get a large pallet changer and have it work. And also having it in stock to where we could install it quickly. Uh, and so. Uh, one of the other things that we, we haven't discussed yet, but uh, Matsura is a really similar company to Hamilton. And so Matsura is a multi-generational company, Hamilton is a multi-generational company. And so for us, it really meant something when I went to go talk to Katsu or Yuto uh, about my problems or about my ideas, um, and they knew who I was. And I, I was a real customer to them, and even though we weren't a customer at all, they took me seriously. And they thought that the crazy ideas I had might work. And um, <laughs> some of the crazy ideas I had were pretty different. And um, the, the team that, that I have here, they really accepted those ideas and allowed the idea to, to really turn into something actionable. Um, and it was, it's been a blast. You know, something else I know about you that I'm gonna share with the audience as well is I might start labeling you the tab king because of the way that you're able to machine these crazy ideas and make yeah. these tabs. In 2017, 2018, we were looking at Operation, or I was going to say Operation 1, but we're now calling them Op 10s and Op 20. So Op 10, Op 20, Op 30 that you're able to put here. And the reason I bring that up and to use it into, as a one and done, the reason I bring that up is because you went from in 2017 40,000, just over 40,000 uptime hours, and now you're near to 300,000 uptime hours, right? Yeah. Would you mind talking Correct. a little bit about that? Yeah, so um, before before we had the Matsura solution, we had some horizontals that were doing uh, certain parts that were good horizontal parts, and we had a lot of C-frame verticals, mostly Hoth machines. And uh, for us, as everyone knows, when the doors open and the machine stops, you're, you're not making any money, you're not making chips, you're not making parts. And so for us, we went from uh, 44,000 hours, spindle hours, a one year, uh, what we'll call an earned hour, and it took up to 294,000 hours. And what made that possible is I can load the pallet and I can load 31 other pallets while it's running. I'm also, as you can see here, we have a pallet with more than one part. And so I'm able to do more than one part on a, on a three plus two um, situation. Like I said, most of our parts are orthogonal. They're, they're squares, they're rectangles. They're, they're not true five axis parts. Um, sometimes we'll do five axis mostly for deburring or, or maybe a small edge here or there. But uh, going, going that route, the only way we could have done it was uh, with, with a, a solution that was off the shelf. And we, we, right now we have just under 1,500 programs that have been written and product has been made. That doesn't include revisions uh, in the last five years, really four years. Um, that uh, since we started this, which is an incredible number of programs. I love embracing the chaos. I love embracing the creativity, all of that. And if you didn't love your job so much, I'd try to take you with me around the world to do this because you're <laughs> so good at having conversations and enlightening people on what works and why it works because you've already made my job easier to segue into the next piece, which is kind of the ease of operation, the ease of setup, the ease of use. You're partnered with an apprenticeship program at a community college just mm -hmm. right across the street, yeah. but you're pulling people right 
right out of school and even truck drivers and they're now running MAMS as well. Yeah. Would you mind talking about how somewhat simple it's been to bring people in and educate them on how to work at the Matt Sirs and get them as an operator? Yeah, what, what I love about the machine is to start as an operator on a Matsura with a, with a, a, a self-centering vice solution, you can start anyone that day. Um, it's actually the work center, frankly, that I feel comfortable running day in and day out. Uh, there's been weekends or maybe I'm at my office, at my desk a little bit too much and I want to get moving. I'll go run a MAM for a while. And the reason is I, I, I believe in that solution. So what I love about the, the machine is, is it's easy to get started and it's not as intimidating as a lot of other machine tools might be. And then it also has the additional high level of technology to keep someone interested. Um, and, and that's something that's important. And so we've been able to find people that were not machinists, not trained. They, they, they find out about us, we hire them as an apprentice, and we essentially help them go through school. And we, we tra the training is coming from the school, but we're also developing them internally so that they're, they're really a strong operators. Very well said. Also, shows to go the leadership as well and the team that's mm -hmm. here at Hamilton and everyone right. working together to be able to implement in such a short amount of time so many machines and so many operations and so many products on all of the machine to keep the uptime going without having the, the breakdowns that happen sometimes. So on behalf of MTD CNC and I know that historically Hamilton hasn't let a whole lot of camera crews in. I just want to say thank you. Oh, thank thanks. you for sharing your story. Thank you for sharing your time. The audience loves hearing stories like this and it's not every day that companies like yourself allow cameras to come in and share that story. So thank you so much, yeah. Phil. We're really proud of everything we've accomplished and uh, while I had some of the ideas, uh, the, the team of people that I have with me, uh, I really enjoy coming into work and uh, getting, you know, getting to talk to you about it, I kind of realize what we've done. I don't think about it maybe enough, uh, what we've done in the past, but uh, thanks a lot. Well, sometimes when we're in the thick of things, we don't pay attention to everything that's actually been accomplished. But yeah. from the outside looking in, I can tell from the people that are watching us make this video right now, everyone's very excited to be here, proud to see what you're doing, and we wish you decades and decades of more success. Cool. Thanks, Tony.